My name is Eric Baker, and this video is brought to you by Florida State University College of Information. In this video, I will be showing you how to remove and install a processor. Let's take a look at the materials we will need for this installation. For this installation, we will need the computer, the screwdriver, an alcohol pad, thermal compound, and the processor. First things first, we must work in a safe and static free environment. So remember to power off your computer and remove the power cord from the machine. Also, remember to remove any plastic bags or papers from your work area. Finally, you're going to want to ground yourself. To do this, simply touch any of the unpainted metal surfaces on the computer's frame. Once you have set up a safe working environment, your next step is to open the computer. To do this, you simply unscrew the fastening screws from the back of the tower. Once you have the screws removed, simply press down on the lock and the side panel will come loose. Lay the side panel flat and turn the computer so the internal components are facing up. This is where the heat sink is located. Beneath the heat sink is where we will find the processor for the computer. Now that we know where the heat sink is located, we can remove the heat sink to get to the processor. The first step is to remove the power for the heat sink. Once you have done this, take your screwdriver and locate the screws. There are four, two on this side and two on the other side of the heat sink. Unscrew all four screws and the heat sink will pull out of the motherboard. Now that we have removed the heat sink, we can remove the processor. First, locate the locking mechanism on the side of the processor. Push down and pull the lock out. Once you have done this, the plate on top of the processor will slide up. Then, take your thumb and index finger and remove the processor. Now that we have removed the heat sink and the processor, the next step is to remove the old thermal compound. First, you want to wipe off the old thermal compound from the bottom of the heat sink and remove the old thermal compound from the top of the processor. To do this, we're simply using an alcohol pad. Notice the two notches on the side of the processor. We will use these notches later when installing the processor. Also, make sure not to touch or bend any of the bottom parts on the processor. Before we can reinstall the processor, we have to apply some new thermal compound. The trick is to make sure that the processor is thoroughly covered without using excess thermal compound. Now that we have added new thermal compound, line up the notches on the side of the processor with the two notches on the processor's housing. Place the processor in the slot. Close the lid and make sure to lock the slot. Now that we have successfully installed the processor, our next step is to reinstall the heat sink. First, take the heat sink power cable and reconnect it to the motherboard. Once you have done this, line up the four screws on the heat sink with the four screw holes on the motherboard.
place the heat sink into place and re-screw in all four screws. Don't forget to fasten the screws to the back of the computer. Make sure the screws are tight so they hold the side panel on. Once again, my name is Eric Baker and I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and informative.